Hi everyone, I'm Brian with Obedia, and today I'm going to show you how to make use of the new user editable and configurable multi-tool in Studio One 3 by Personas. This is a new feature and something that I think is pretty cool. Now, if you take a look at the tools section here in the top of Studio One, you're going to find the same tools that we've come to know and love for a long time in Studio One, and that includes the range tool, split tool, the eraser, the paint tool, the mute tool, audio bend, and our audio audition button. Now, uh, something that some of you may be familiar with if you've used Apple Logic before is the ability to, in Logic, have your primary tool also have a secondary function. Um, and that is what Studio One 3 has implemented now for the arrow tool. Now, the arrow tool is probably going to be the most used tool in your entire palette of tools. You're going to use that for doing quick selections, deletions, things like that. But let's say you want to access a secondary function, a secondary tool really quickly uh, without having to select a tool or use another keyboard um, key, such as pressing number two to reach the range tool and etc. Now, if the way to do that is by making use of the user configurable features of the arrow tool. Move your mouse up, hold it down on the arrow tool, left click and hold down, and now you're going to see all of the other tools listed just below this range, split, eraser, and etc. What you're doing here is you're selecting the alternative tool that you're going to make use of uh, for the arrow tool. So I'm going to select split. So what does this mean? This means that now I have my arrow tool, my usual mousing is done with my arrow tool, but if I hold the control key on my keyboard, now I have the split tool. If I let go of that, I have the arrow tool. And then if I hold the control key again, I have the split tool again. It's a really cool new feature that again is just something that's going to help your workflow. It's going to speed things up. It's going to make it a lot easier to do quick edits. Of course, you can change this to almost any tool that you would like. So if there's one that you find that you lean on a little bit more frequently, in addition to the arrow tool, this is a real quick and easy way to be able to make use of that tool real fast inside of Studio One 3. So there you have it, guys. I hope you found this useful and cool. And as always, if you have questions or comments, please feel free to leave them here on this video. Or even better, visit Obedia.com and find out how you can become an Obedia VIP today by joining our subscriber network where you're going to get access to member-exclusive videos and the ability to call an Obedia trainer and technician seven days a week to help you to get to know Studio One version 3 and help you make great music. We'll help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. That's what we do best here at Obedia. I want to thank you guys for tuning in, and as always, I'm Brian with Obedia. Until next time, happy music making to you, and take care. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.